Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Doom Turbo up in the building. Hey, what up everybody? Today I'm bringing you guys this awesome 65 and 9 with an almost 12,000 score Man of War nuclear gameplay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to like take a little pause right there because of how amazing this gameplay actually is. And this is by Doom Munaj. He's a live streamer and a really great guy. You guys should definitely check him out. I'll leave all his links in the description. Uh, you'll definitely learn a lot by watching his streams and looking at his gameplay. You know, he plays pretty aggressively, but he's not playing, you know, like a chicken with his head cut off. He's playing according to how the map flow is, according to what's going on on the mini map and how the enemies are positioned in relation to his teammates and himself. So he's a pretty smart rusher and you got to give credit where it's due, man. He also does play the objective, and this is something that is very rare to see in most gameplays nowadays. I'm not going to lie, man. I try to play the objective when I can, but it's it's super hard playing the objective when you're on a streak. But Doom Minaj is just a beast, man. He doesn't care. He's just going to go in, play the OBJ, and drop a nuclear on your head. Anyways, guys, I want to talk about his class setup. So the, new, the Man of War is actually a really great gun, and it's probably my favorite assault rifle as well. So his class setup is the ELO site, which is a really good site for it. And he's also using stock, rapid fire, and fast mags. That is a lot of attachments. But the thing about the Man of War is that it needs a lot of attachments because it's one of those guns that are pretty much like high maintenance guns. You know, in my opinion, in using it, it was just one of the harder weapons to use. Cause it's got like this really slow ads time and all that stuff and you know it doesn't have that much ammo capacity it reloads pretty slow so that's why he's using all these different attachments to help him out in his gameplay now the perks he's using are flak jacket scavenger and fast hands now flak jacket is definitely gonna protect you from grenades especially when you're playing a game mode like domination like he is here it's very important especially when you're playing the objective you do you don't want to die off of your streaks so flak jacket is going to save you that one little dumb death that you might get from somebody who's trying to noob tube the objective or just chuck nades so flak jacket is definitely a must and then scavenger so he can replenish and keep using the same exact gun that he's been using so that he doesn't have to sacrifice picking up a weapon that he's not used to and then next thing you know he picks up some sniper and what if he's not a good sniper guy and then he just dies off of his nuclear streak so that's going to be a huge problem and then he's using fast hands of course to aim down sights a lot faster because he is a rusher look at the way he's playing he's playing very fast pace that little split second that fast hands gives you an advantage of is very very important and it will help you win gunfights so that's pretty much as far as the class setup on the weapon goes now you can see here he's using UAV, counter UAV, and the hater. Now, the UAV is obviously going to allow you to see the enemies as they appear on the minimap, which is going to translate into easier kills. And then it's going to lead to your counter UAV, which is also great because you can disorient the enemies through making them confused on where to go and stuff because they can't see anything on their minimap. So they're pretty much like blind mice. And then on top of that, you also get counter UAV assist, which will then build up to your hater. And then he's also using the combat focus specialist ability and this is actually my personal favorite because it allows you to get your score streaks a lot faster and once you get your score streaks a lot faster then obviously you're gonna get your hater which is the ultimate score streak that you want to get when you're getting a nuclear and then that's obviously going to translate into an easy nuclear so that's pretty much it as far as the class setup goes. I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay and I hope you guys try this class setup out. Definitely drop a like if you did enjoy the gameplay. Support the Doom Clan guys. And of course, my links to my personal channel are going to be in the description as well. If you guys want to come over on my channel, check me out. All right, guys, I'm out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.